It was a big night in high school hoops around the state as teams were trying to get into the conference title games. Let's go out to Bolivia for the MEC tournament and we had some great games starting with the first semifinal of the night from Bolivia. West Brunswick taking on the Hoggard Vikings and it's the Trojans coming out swinging and landing the first punch. Jaden Parker steps with a double team and scores with ease from the right side. But it didn't take too much longer for Hogger to get on the board. Cam Blanks, a nice feed inside to Jackson Massey, and the captain kisses it off the glass. But the Vikings in transition, down by four. Sebastian Hedera, the slick, no look bounce pass to Trey Klukas. He's got the basket and the foul. He would head to the free throw stripe and convert the end one opportunity. But for the most part, West controlled the first quarter. The three quarter court pass to DeAndre Claridia, and he scores through the contact. The second half was all Hoggard. It's Luke Lamport getting his man in the air and scoring. The Trojans, though, tried to go full court press in the fourth quarter. It didn't work out. Trey Klukas straight to the rim. No one even guarding him. Gets hit, the foul, and the basket. He had a team high 15 points, and Hoggard wins it 47-26 the final. And who would they play in the championship game? This one had the making of a fantastic matchup. The young New Hanover Wildcats trying to knock off the Laney Buccaneers, and it was a quick start for New Hanover. And it starts with Scotty Diffenbaugh working around his defender to the baseline, gets his floater to roll home. And this game would be tight all throughout the first half, but Mr. Reese Edwards gives the Bucks the lead on his signature three ball. And Laney leads by one at that point. It looked like the Bucks were going to slowly start to pull away in the third quarter. Sherrod Sidberry playing grown man basketball, kisses it off the glass to extend the Buccaneer lead. Then two and a half minutes to go. This looked like it would be the dagger. Mark McLaurin showing off the range from way downtown on the right wing to extend the lead to five. But Scotty Diffenbaugh has an answer. The junior gets his three ball to roll home in the bottom half. And that would be a one to cut it to three. Last chance for New Hanover. The Wildcats. Different ball tries to tie it at the buzzer, but it's off the front of the rim and Laney is onto the title game. What a dramatic finish 45 42 the final.